All right, so we're going to try bending this. Uh, I have not bent anything for this project yet, so um, this is going to be a learning curve for me. It could could be possible that it's all messed up, but uh, I think it'll probably go all right. What I did was, uh, and you know the story behind all that from the last video, and I extended this a little bit longer than I need to just because you know how things go. You're going to need an adjustment. I took some play sand, which happened to have come wet. It's like 10 degrees here where I'm at. It's really cold. So I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, dried it out, ran a funnel, put some rubber uh, plugs in the end. You get it at a hardware store for about 20 cents and uh, filled the tube with sand. Now, obviously, this is a flat surface. You know, a real bender has a curve to it. So as we bend, something's got to give. In theory, this should get a little taller. I can't help that. I just don't really want to kink it severely. I want a nice, smooth bend. That's all I'm really looking for. So uh, we have to go into that knowing that it's not going to be ideal. And when you build something in your garage, it's you know less than ideal conditions. You do the best you can, but you can't expect to have a product that would be turned out in a manufacturing company. Um, when you're bending with something like this. So this is a, a scrap piece of block. We're going to use a little later. I'm just going to use this to push on it because I don't want to bend this. I want all the bend to happen here. And we only have to go a little bit, so let's give it a shot. Here we go. Let's see how that works. All right. Uh, it's stiffer. Boy, it's stiffer than you think. Let's sand. Uh. I want to hold that down because I don't want that to lift. I want a real flat part. Okay, so see the spring back? Okay, you go a little more. Okay, that was stiff. Okay, and you can see, you know, it's not quite enough. So, oh, oh yeah, I like that. How do we do? Not bad. Maybe bent it a little oh, too far. Was oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to spin my tripod around a little bit. Let's take a look and see how we did. Okay, so there's our line. So if I just kind of flick it, okay, not bad. Let me just slide the tripod over so you can see. Okay, and uh, it's a pretty, I'll tell you what, it's a pretty nice bend. Now you can see, let me try to slide this a little more. You can see that... Um, it doesn't take much of a bending jig. I mean, it's not like we're doing a severe angle. You know, our other angle, which is going to be down here, this could get hairy. I mean, honestly, this I'm having some doubts about how that's going to work. <laughs> but uh, hey, all we all we can do is try. So um, that's it. Having looked at this, I'm glad I gave it a little extra over here because we can trim it. You know, we may have to take this whole thing and shift it and play around. I I don't know, but. Uh, the next step is going to be, let me grab that block, we're going to take and we're going to put this in here, okay. I pre-drilled all my holes, I'm going to kind of line this up here, hopefully I didn't mess that up. And we're going to grab that and we're going to jerk it around to see what we can come up with. 